Hello everyone and welcome to the University of North Carolina Wilmington or UNCW as you may know it. My name is Hannah Sprague and I'm with Student Ambassadors and we're pleased to give you the opportunity to enjoy a tour of UNCW at home. My name is Hannah Sprague and I'm a freshman at UNCW and I'm from Matthews, North Carolina and I'm studying social work. I'm also a part of an on-campus ministry called Overflow and a learning community in my dorm. If you have any questions about that, please let us know. I'm also part of Student Ambassadors, like I've already said, and we're so excited to give you this tour, so I hope you enjoy it. UNCW's history dates all the way back to 1947. In 1961, Wilmington College moved from that location to our current location and only consisted of James Hall, Alderman Hall, and Hoggard Hall. In 1969, UNC school system renamed Wilmington College to be a part of the UNC school system and therefore is named University of North Carolina Wilmington today. Hey guys, I'm super excited that you're checking out UNCW's campus. I would like to introduce you to three buildings located towards the front of campus that are there to serve your needs. The first one is James Hall. Here you can find our admissions office where you can go if you have any questions about being admitted to UNCW, as well as our registrar's office where all student records are held, and lastly, our graduate's office. UNCW offers four doctoral degrees as well as many other graduate programs. Next, we have Alderman Hall. It's kind of like our principal's office. You've only really gone there if you've done something really good or really bad. Here you can find the offices of our chancellor, vice chancellor, provost, vice provost, and many more. Stop by and say hello. They would love to welcome you to UNCW. Lastly, we have Hoggard Hall. Here you can find the office of our international programs. You would go there if you have any questions or are interested in studying abroad. It also is our university college. One cool thing that UNCW does, as an incoming freshman, you are not allowed to declare your major until you have completed 24 credit hours. You will be signed a general advisor that is there to advise and guide you on what classes to take, whether you know what major you're interested in or if you're completely undecided. Here at DePaulo Hall is the home to the Student Health Center and Pharmacy. So there's no need for students to go off campus and search for a doctor. They can come right here and visit with real doctors and real nurses for their checkups and appointments. And they take either your own private insurance or the insurance that the university offers. In this building, there's also the counseling center. Here at UNCW, we really value the mental health of our students, which is why this is a resource available to them. Anytime they need to talk to somebody about whatever's on their mind, they can come here and meet with the counselor. Part of the Counseling Center is also the Care Office. So the Care Office deals with interpersonal relationship issues that a student may have or have had in the past. This building also holds the University Learning Center. This holds the STEM and writing labs. So if you ever need to meet with a tutor, you can either walk in or set an appointment and they can help you with your classes. Amongst those resources, there's also the disability services. So if you have a documented disability, you can bring in your paperwork here and the university will do everything that it can to accommodate for you. This building also has testing services. So if there's any nursing students that need to take the TEAS test, this is where you would do that. Also some pre-graduate school tests you can take here like the LSAT, GRE, things like that, all available right here on campus at UNCW. So we have one library at UNCW, it's called Randall Library. It's broken up into two floors. The second floor is a quiet floor with group study rooms, group conference rooms, whiteboards and TVs that you can work on with your presentation. While the first floor is a talkative collaborative floor where you can talk with friends at a regular talking voice. On the first floor, we also have Port City Java, which is a local coffee shop. You can get coffee, tea, baked goods that you might want during your study session. In the back, we have the TAC Center, which is the Technology Assistance Center where they can help you with any of your technology needs, with your phone, your laptop, as well as they can also rent stuff to you, such as portable chargers or laptops. It is included in your tuition to get anything fixed. All you have to do is bring the part, and as soon as you purchase that, they will help you install it. We have an iPrint service all over campus where they have these individual iPrint stations, multiple in the library, and at least one in every residential building and every academic building. And all you do is scan your one card, and you can print whatever you need wherever you are. And the library is open on a 24-5 schedule, which means it's open 24 hours a day during the weekdays, and it's limited hours on the weekends, but there's still plenty of hours for you to work, as well as it's open 24-7 during exam week. Also located upstairs in the Randall Library are the Honors College offices and the Honors College Student Study Lounge. If you're interested in applying for UNCW Honors, 
you can click yes on the UNCW general application and if you accidentally click no that's okay too you can fill out a general interest form and be accepted later your freshman year or your sophomore year as well honors college classes are more discussion based than you would typically have in a normal university course in order to graduate with honors you need to complete a certain number of honors classes and you also need to complete a research thesis your junior or your senior year all first year honors kids live together in Cornerstone. This helps to meet the kids that they'll be having classes with their entire four-year experience here at UNCW. And they also have more access to scholarships and priority registration. Hey everyone, this is Cameron Hall, home to the Cameron School of Business. This is an accredited business program and it's one of the programs at UNCW that you have to apply to. To apply, you need a minimum of a 2.7 GPA and you need some prerequisite classes once you have those things, you can apply, and the School of Business is not capped at a certain number of people each semester, so as long as you have the things you need, you should be accepted. We have 13 concentrations within the School of Business, anywhere from international business to marketing to accounting, so once you are a business student, you can focus in on any of those things. We also have two really cool programs through the School of Business. One of them is SEN, which is the Cameron Executive Network. This is like a mentor-mentee program where you as a business student would be matched up with a businessman or businesswoman in the community and they kind of teach you the ropes and they give you more exposure to the field. Our other program is TABSA, which is the Transatlantic Business School Alliance. This is an international exchange program where you do two years at UNCW and then two years abroad at one of our partner schools in Europe. And after those four years, you have a degree from both schools. So that's a really great opportunity for traveling as well as just more exposure to the business field. And that is all I have for Cameron Hall. When it comes to study abroad here at UNCW, the Seahawks soar far and wide. We offer more than a thousand programs in over 70 countries. If a student is looking for a specific program that does not already exist, they can file a petition to have that program created, whether it's based off a certain location or certain course requirements. Students are also given the ability to apply for internships abroad. And this is a great opportunity for them to get experience in their field and also see how a different country does things. Um, students that are uh, looking to study abroad are also able to apply for grants and scholarships. They will be evaluated by criteria uh, created by the faculty as well as the study abroad location. When it comes to UCW students that are coming out of state, they may be surprised to find that it's cheaper for them to study abroad for a semester or a year rather than to come attend UNCW here in Wilmington. The duration of study abroad trips can go anywhere from a week to two years, a week being the trips made in uh, spring break as well as maybe the beginning of January before the semester starts. And the two year trips will be with the Transatlantic Business School Alliance, which was mentioned earlier in the stop. Um, if there's any further questions about either of those topics that I covered, feel free to contact Hoggart Hall. They are the center of information for study abroad as well as anybody on ambassadors or anybody involved with tours around campus. I uh, hope this answered all your questions and have a great day. Our education building is home to our Watson College of Education and is in my opinion one of the most beautiful buildings on our campus. Our Watson College of Education has five concentrations including early childhood, elementary, middle, secondary, and special education. One of the big focuses in our Watson College is hands-on learning. There are a few different ways that we do this. First, we will make sure that students get into the classroom as early as possible. So I can say personally, my freshman year, I was already in the classroom in my first class in Watson, making sure that I liked teaching and being in the classroom before I spent four years getting a degree to do that for the next 35 years. We will also bus in students from New Hanover County Schools, and we'll be able to interact and teach them in the Watson College. So we have a fully functioning kitchen in Watson that we could bring students in and bake a pie, for example, in order to teach them fractions. We also have a classroom with a one-way mirror so that your professor can assess you working with the students without intimidating them in the corner of the room, and they won't be able to see them on the other side of the one-way mirror. Another resource that we have is we do have an extension of Randall Library that includes all of the North Carolina public school uh, curriculums. So that's a great resource to have as a future teacher. You can get familiar with the curriculums before you're out teaching it. So hands-on learning is a huge focus in our Watson College as it is with the rest of our university. Now we're at McNeil Hall. 
McNeil houses our nursing, social work, and gerontology programs here at UNCW. A little bit about how the hall is set up, it's divided by floors. So the first floor are general lecture halls and classrooms, so no matter what your major is, you can have a class in McNeil. The second and third floor are key card access only because of the state of the art equipment that we have housed on those floors. Our second floor is a mock hospital set up for our nursing students, and our third floor are mock apartments for our social work and gerontology students. I'm going to go a little bit more in depth about our nursing program. Our nursing program is one of the only capped programs here on campus. We cap it at 60 students per semester just for the fact that you get hands-on experience in New Hanover County hospitals starting within your first semester in the program. And so we don't want 200 teal scrubs running around trying to learn when it's a much more beneficial learning environment when you have a lesser number so you get more hands-on and specialized experience. Before we throw you out into the actual community hospitals, you are on the second floor where you get hands-on experience with lifelike robots in different learning scenarios. Those robots are controlled by your professor and they can give you different scenarios. So you can draw their blood, you can take their blood pressure, they can give birth to up to twins, and you can diagnose them based on symptoms that they tell you or what they don't tell you. Your professor can make it the most easygoing patient or the most difficult patient that you will ever face. Just depends on what they wanna do that day. And in the back, we do have an ambulance loop for students learning about emergency medicine techniques. And so we like to equip you with the confidence and education you need in order to feel successful in our local hospitals. So for our social work and gerontology students, we have the third floor, which I mentioned earlier, is set up like mock apartments. And in those apartments, we hire local Wilmington actors in order to come in and act in different scenarios that you may face. And those scenarios can range from different types in nursing homes, retirement communities, or anything in the foster system. We love uh, getting involved in our community and having the community involved with us. We love to stress that no matter what major you're in, you do get hands-on experience. We want our Seahawks to graduate with the necessary skills and confidence in order to be successful in whatever profession they choose. The teaching lab is home to our psychology and environmental science departments, and it's modeled very similarly to McNeil Hall, where on the first floor you have lecture halls and classrooms, and then on the second and third floor there's offices and research labs. Psychology is one of our four PhD programs on campus, but there's also plenty of opportunities for undergraduate research to be conducted as well. My spring semester of my freshman year, I was able to help with conducting research in a psychology lab, which was a really great way for me to gain experience and get to know some of the different professors and being able to do that as a freshman was a really awesome opportunity. One of the professors in the psychology department was president of the American Psychological Association or the APA in 2017. So we're really lucky to have him as part of our psychology department here on campus. And there's also plenty of opportunities for undergraduates to participate in research rather than conduct research. So typically in your intro to psychology courses, there might be requirements for you to participate in some of the research studies being conducted on campus, which is a really cool way to see what is going on and what different researchers are studying. And moving on, our environmental science department. The students in the environmental science department are really fortunate to be living on such a green campus because they get to work in the field as much as they do in the classroom and they get a lot of field experience by working with our campus and the surrounding community. Dubs Cafe, which is one of our dining locations on campus, is actually Wilmington's first green restaurant which just shows how much sustainability and the environment matters to this campus. One of our most notable sustainable clubs and organizations on campus is the Plastic Ocean Project, and they're devoted to keeping the community, campus, environment in pristine condition so that future generations can enjoy it as well. Hey guys, so I'm gonna be talking a little bit about our dining options and our meal plans today. So when you first come to UNCW as a freshman, you'll either have an all access five or an all access seven meal plan. This basically means that you will have unlimited dining hall swipes, either five or seven teal meals a week, and either 150 or 250 food dollars per semester based on the plan that you choose. You can use your dining hall swipes at either of our two dining hall locations, Wagoner Dining Hall and Dubs Cafe. Wagoner Dining Hall, or WAG as we like to call it, is more of a buffet style option where we have a salad bar, a sandwich bar, a home cooked section, a pizza bar, pretty much anything you're looking for, you can find it at WAG. And Dubs Cafe, on the other hand, is more of a made to order restaurant option and is actually the first certified green restaurant in Wilmington. You can use your teal meals at Hawk's Nest, where we have Subway, Chick-fil-A, Panda Express, and many other small restaurants like that. And you can also use them at small restaurants around campus, like Dunkin' Donuts and Port City Java. 
You can use your food dollars at these locations as well, but you can also use them at our pods or our provisions on demand, which are like small convenience stores where you can grab a snack or a drink in between class. Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about our rec center. Our rec center holds an aquatic facility, functional training areas, new TRX equipment, racquetball courts, multi-purpose courts, a 30-foot rock climbing wall. We have a walk-jog track along with many other facilities and workout equipment. We are actually one of the largest rec centers in the state of North Carolina, which is really cool. We are also the largest student employer on campus. We have about 300 students who work in our rec center, anywhere from a lifeguard to desk assistant to a fitness trainer. Also, another great resource that our rec center has is the Health Education Center. So if you ever have any questions about what to eat on campus and your nutrition or just any general health and wellness questions, that is a great resource for you to use that's located in our rec center. The next thing I would like to talk to you about is our sports. So we have three levels of sports here at UNCW. The first level is our Division I athletes. So these are the people who have the most level commitment. And the second is our club. They have a little bit less commitment. So I like to say you get out what you put in and it's a great way to continue that high school passion that you want to continue but at a little bit of a less commitment level. It's a great way to stay competitive. We compete against other schools in North Carolina as well as out of state. They are clubs, so they do stuff with community service and fundraisers and stuff like that. The third level is our intramural sports, and these are for people who don't have any experience sometimes, but they just wanna get a group of people together and you play other UNCW students. It's a great way to get active and have fun. But one of the best things about our rec center is that you never have to worry about the Division I athletes taking over that space. It's just for student use only. They have their own facility, so you never have to worry about sharing that space in the rec center. The last thing I would like to talk to you about is our Seahawk Adventures. It's where a UNCW program puts on weekend trips, usually over long weekends for students for a discounted rate. Also through the Seahawk Adventures, you can rent out surfboards and kayaks and stuff like that also at a discounted rate. And that's pretty much it about the rec center. All freshmen are required to live on campus and there are three housing styles to choose from. The first housing style is the traditional hall style which can be found in Galloway or Cornerstone. That's where you have bedrooms on both sides of a long hallway with a shared bathroom that has multiple sinks, stalls, and showers. The second style is pod style where you can find it in Innovation House, Keystone House, Schwartz, or Seahawk Quad. And this style has about 10 or so bedrooms in one pod with that same community style bathroom with multiple sinks, showers, and stalls. And the last style is suite style, which is Belk and Graham Hewlett. And this style is where you have a common room with two bedrooms off of it. And that common room also has a bathroom on it, which connects to an identical suite style, which is the common room with two bedrooms. So that means that you have four people sharing one common room and eight people sharing one bathroom. But this bathroom has two sinks, two stalls, and two showers. All the styles have the traditional two roommates to one bedroom and all halls, suites, and pods are single sex with an accompanying RA. And safety is a big priority on campus, which is why only your one card can get you into your dorm and it can't get you into any other dorm on campus. Along with that, all freshman residence halls have a desk receptionist in the lobby to look for your specific color on your one card, which is why everyone has the stickers for a freshman dorm to make sure that safety is a priority and only the right people are getting into the dorms. Along with that, if you wanna check in a guest from a different room or from a different school, the desk receptionist can help you do that and it's a pretty simple and easy process. Another great thing in the dorms is laundry is free with tuition which makes it really easy to do as many loads as you need and not have to worry about bringing quarters or anything to the laundry room. Along with that, you can bring a mini fridge and a microwave, or you can rent them out through the school if you choose to do that instead of purchasing one yourself. And one of my favorite things about campus is that you can bring a car on campus as a freshman. If you do choose to buy these parking passes, then you can park basically right next to your dorm, which is super convenient and I think a great aspect of the school. 
Safety is extremely important at UNCW as we want to make sure every Seahawk feels safe and secure on campus. The UNCW Police Department is on call 24-7 and their only jurisdiction is actually the UNCW campus itself. We have 140 emergency call boxes on campus that you can push a button and it will put you in contact with the university police. This is a great resource if you ever find yourself in the need of help. And the general rule is that you should be able to see two other emergency call boxes from the one call box that you're at. Lighting is also really important to UNCW. So we have people come out and check the bulbs and make sure they're working. They all run on LED bulbs, our light post and things. And our chancellor actually comes out once a month. And if he deems an area on campus too dark, construction for a new light post will begin the following day. Safety also applies to residence halls. So residence halls are key card access only. That means that you will have to swipe into your building in order to get in. Freshman residence halls actually have an extra layer of security where you have to flash your one card to a desk receptionist. It'll have a little sticker on it and that just makes sure that everyone who is in your building is meant to be in your building and just ensures the safety of everyone. This is Double Hall. Double Hall is home to some of our top-notch science programs. Departments inside include biology, marine biology, biochemistry, and chemistry. And in addition to Double Hall, we have two off-campus research sites for undergraduate and graduate research. The first one is the Center for Marine Science, which is located six miles off campus, right on the intercoastal waterway. It's got some really cool things, including a shellfish research hatchery, a 770-foot pier, and 22 research vessels. In addition to the Center for Marine Science, we have the UNCW Crest Research Park, which is a part of the Center for Marine Science and includes things like environmental sciences and early stage pharmaceutical research and development. Now with that being said, some of the first classes you take at UNCW are going to be your introductory science level courses and we really want you to succeed. So UNCW has this great resource called Supplemental Instruction or SI. So say you're in Chem 101, a upperclassman who did really well in Chem 101 will hold study sessions every single week that are optional and you can come to them with questions or if you want to refresh the material, they will be glad to help you and that is a resource that many students on campus utilize. Hi guys, I'm Bella and we're going to be talking about Congdon Hall, which is formerly CIS. This building houses the Supply Chain Analytics School of the Business School, as well as Computer Science and Digital Arts. In this building we have a lot of really cool things. We have the Financial Markets Room, or more commonly known as the Fishbowl. Um, this is where a lot of students in the business school will go and if they're interested in the stock market and finance, they can actually invest real money in the stock market that we got from a grant with BB&T. Uh, there's a stock, a real-time stock ticker that goes up at the top of the room that you can see. So that's a really good opportunity for our business students in there. We also have the Digital Arts Lab, which is my favorite part of this building, which is where the digital arts students and the computer science students can go in and they can do things like make apps. They have a ton of 3D modeling software and 3D printing, VR headsets, things like that. They actually have, if you look on the side of the room, there are 3D printed models that were made in the Digital Arts Lab. And the TV right next to the Digital Arts Lab has, it plays animations every like couple minutes, um, which were made by students in the computer modeling class here. So that's a really good opportunity that they have through the digital arts lab. We also have the face aging group, uh, which is upstairs. This is where we have software, which we have in partnership with the grant with the FBI, where they can take faces and they can age them up or down, and they can use that to find different suspects. Um, I actually, one of my professors was the head of the face aging group, um, and he's really nice and super passionate about it. So that's a really good opportunity as well. Hello, and welcome to Fisher University Union. This is the building where most of the restaurants on campus are found. So here we have a Chick-fil-A, a Subway, a Mexican restaurant, a pizza place, and we are also getting Panda Express here in the fall, which is really exciting. During this stop, I'm going to be talking about the different meal plan options for freshmen and the different dining areas on campus. So as a freshman, you can either get the all access five meal plan or the all access seven meal plan. In both of these meal plans, you get unlimited swipes into our dining halls on campus. Our dining halls on campus are Wagner Dining Hall and Dubs Cafe. Wagner Dining Hall is a typical buffet style. You swipe in and you can eat as much as you want. And Dubs Cafe is more of a place with a strict menu that you can order off of. So you would swipe into Dubs and there would be a menu that you could order from. And Dubs changes its menu uh, about every month or so, so sometimes you can go into Dubs and it'll be Italian food, the next month you'll go in and it'll be Asian food, and it'll just switch up like that so our students can get a wide variety of different food choices. So, starting with the All Access 5, on top of these unlimited meal swipes into the dining hall, you also get five teal meals a week. 
and teal meals constitute as a combo meal. So you could use a teal meal at Subway and you would get a sandwich, chips, and a drink. Or, you know, you could use your teal meal at Chick-fil-A and get sandwich, fries, and a drink, anything like that. So you would get five a week with the all access five and these do not roll over to the next week. So say you only use three out of your five teal meals in a week, the other two do not roll over. You just start the next week with five brand new teal meals. And on top of these five teal meals, you also get 150 food dollars. Food dollars you can use for extra stuff that aren't included in teal meals. So say you go to Chick-fil-A and want to get a milkshake with your teal meal, you would use food dollars to buy the milkshake. You can also use food dollars to get coffee on campus, as well as little snacks at our pod markets. We have pod markets all around campus and they're basically like little grocery stores where you can get snacks, meals, stuff like that. Your food dollars can also be used there. So just recapping on the all access five, you get unlimited swipes into our dining halls, five teal meals a week and 150 food dollars. For the all access seven, you get unlimited swipes into our dining halls, and seven teal meals a week instead of five. Again, these do not roll over to the next week and 250 food dollars for the semester. So those are your dining options. Um, also housed in this building besides dining options, we have our on-campus post office. So every student gets a PO box that you can order packages to or someone can send you a package. When this package is delivered to your box, you will get an email through your university email telling you that your package is ready and you just come down to the post office, swipe your one card and they will give you your package. The last thing I'm going to touch on in Fisher University Union is our passport office. This is open to the public, so anyone can come here and get their passport renewed, but it is very helpful for our students on campus so that if they're going to study abroad, they can get their passport renewed here very quickly. And that is all I really have to say about the Fisher University Union. So thank you guys for listening and go Hawks! Hi everybody, my name is Kelly Arnold and I'm going to be talking about the diversity offices here on UNCW's campus. Um, these offices are really important to our student life and student living uh, at UNCW. They're all located in the Fisher University Union, which is one of the main student life buildings at UNCW. And two of them are located on the second floor, um, so Centro Espano and Upper Bend African American Cultural Center. And then also we have the LGBTQIA Resource Office, which is on the second floor. So just to talk about these offices, I like to say that they're home away from home for students that do identify with those races, ethnicities city's orientations and so they can really find a strong community there but the offices also put on a great deal of programming to educate um, other students that might not necessarily find some of the services or communities like to be something that they think that they're a part of. So as some examples, I just like to throw out some of the fun programming things that they do. So for example, Upperman African American Cultural Center always puts on a fashion show that kind of sh showcases the newest styles, especially in the black community, and it usually uses students as the designers and the models, so that's always really fun to see. And they also do movie showings and Lumina Theater here on campus. We also have Centro Hispano, which is the Hispanic Cultural Center, um, so they do really cool things like service trips to Oaxaca, Mexico. They also have a really awesome mentor-mentee tutoring program for students at UNCW and students in the greater Wilmington area where people are able to get involved and they actually just had one of their mentees. They've all gone off to all of the different Ivy League schools. They got Harvard a couple years ago, so that was really exciting for them. And then they also do just more fun, like relaxed things like showing Coco in Spanish um, and Lumina too, which is always a lot of fun to go to and like sing along with. And then finally we have the LGBTQIA Resource Center. So this is a really important office as well, just for the general student body. They do really cool things like a clothing drive for Trans Remembrance Week, um, as well as they offer a community building kind of open circle um, and a podcast called Community where they talk about just the general things going on in the world, answer questions, and just uh, create a safe space for people to talk. So if you're interested in any of these offices, I would strongly suggest going and looking at their pages on, at UNCW or visiting their social media pages because they do have a really strong presence in all three of those platforms. So. For our final tour stop, we are at the Fisher Student Center. Located in this building is our CAKE office, which stands for Campus Activities and Involvement Center. This place is a gateway for our students to become more involved with campus activities, organizations, and clubs. Here at ENCW, we have over 300 different registered clubs that students can get involved in. At the beginning of every fall semester, we host an annual involvement carnival for new and returning students to come check out clubs that they might be interested in and want to join. 
On the first floor of this building, we have an Einstein's restaurant where you can use your tail meals and food dollars. It's also a very convenient place to pick up a snack on the go. On the first floor, we also have the Sharky's game room, and this is a neat place for students to come hang out, play pool or ping pong or on the Xbox. Sharky's game room also serves as a box office and concession stand for our Lumina theater. Lumina seats about 330 people, and we like to showcase documentaries, student films, and blockbuster movies. All of our tickets for our Lumina events are free. Students just have to pick them up at the box office. On the first floor, we also have our information center, which is UNCW's official lost and found. And it's also a great place to rent out umbrellas, laptop chargers, or bike pumps that you might have left at home. We also have a bookstore in this building. On the first floor is our Starbucks and gift shop where you can buy all of your Seahawk apparel. The second floor of our bookstore is where you actually buy your textbooks or rent them. And we do price match with Amazon, which is a really great deal. I personally love Fisher Student Center because it's just an easy and fun place to come hang out with your friends, grab a quick snack, and do some studying, whether that's inside, near the water sculpture, or outside sitting in the shade. Hi everyone! I just want to say thank you so much for coming along on our virtual tour. And as some closing thoughts, I would like to say I think UNCW is the greatest school in the whole world, but regardless of where you choose, to go to school. I hope that you find your people and you thrive in community and you get to experience all the joy and excitement and fun that is the college experience. So thank you for tuning in again and as always, go Seahawks!